All right, so I've been owning and operating Rust servers since about September or so of 2015. So I've been doing this for a long ass time. But even at that, even I don't have all of the answers. So there are plugins out there that I should know about that I don't know about. So when I get introduced to a plugin that I should have been using for the last two years and haven't been, I get pretty excited about it. Today, I'm going to be showing you exactly one of those plugins. One of those plugins that would have been a fantastic tool for me to have been using this whole time and haven't been simply because I didn't even know it existed or if I did know that it existed, I didn't know what it did for me. So that's one of the plugins that we're talking about today. Stay tuned, check it out. I hope you guys like it. Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully teach you guys some of the ins and the outs and the problems that you might come across as you're running your servers. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And always remember to turn on that notification bell so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. I upload new videos every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So the plugin that I chose to showcase today is Admin Deep Cover. This plugin was suggested to me by another viewer. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. So like I said in the intro, once I started playing around with this plugin, I realized that I should have been using this the entire time. So I felt this was fairly important for me to show you guys how to actually use this plugin and how it's gonna be beneficial to you. So just a couple of things really quick before we actually get into the actual game side of it. I wanna bring your attention to the fact that this is a permission-based plugin. So of course you would only grant the permission to the moderators or admins that you actually want to be able to use admin deep cover. And then down below that, of course, there's a command associated with it because we need to be able to toggle this feature on and off. I'll show you that once we get into the game. So I've already installed this plugin, obviously, because I said I was testing it. So if you've never installed a plugin before, make sure you check on the video on the right hand side of the screen right now it shows you how to install a UMod plugin and what to expect as you're doing so. Another note that I wanted to make about the UMod website is that it actually shows different information as the default config as compared to what you're going to get when you download this plugin. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. As you can see from the config that they display on the UMod site, it's actually Gary, Alistair and Helk. I don't know if these are their actual steam ids probably not but it will be showing you something cool that you can do with this information so before we can actually use this plugin of course we need to grant the permission to the groups or players that we want to be able to use this plugin so by using whatever your preferred permission manager is you can do that quite simply so we're going to apply this to the group called admin and it's just this one permission right here called admin deep cover dot use so we're going to grant that permission and we're going to close out of this now we have the permission and we can use it in its default format just the way it comes right out of the box so so the command for it is slash deep cover. So you're going to see a couple of things happen. So right off the bat, you're going to see in the bottom left hand corner where it says my team name is Spectre. As soon as I hit enter, that's going to change to one of the random names that it has in the default config file. So deep cover has been enabled. And as you can see, it has now changed my name to tricky. And if we type in chat, you can see it now says tricky. So something I just learned like right now as I was recording this video is if you're in team chat, it's going to show your original Steam ID. So whatever image is associated to your Steam ID naturally, it will show up in team chat. But anytime you go to global chat, as you can see down in the left hand corner right now, you can see when you're in global chat, it actually changes the Steam icon to whatever is associated in the default config file for admin deep cover, which is very cool. I did not realize that before I started recording this video. So I actually really like that feature. Feature. So if you're in a team with other admins or other moderators or whatever it is, they can still tell who they're chatting with, but globally, nobody's going to know who you are. So if the developer of this plugin is actually watching this video, I know your name is Dana. Go check out Dana's work at umod.org. If you're watching this, very cool feature. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I like it a lot. If we want to be able to turn this deep cover off, we just do slash deep cover again, and it will then turn that feature off. So it will change my name back to Spectre right there, and everything will go back to normal. So if I do test in team chat, everything looks normal. If I do test in global chat, again, everything looks normal, which is great. So, so far, this plugin is working actually better than it was when I first tested this because I didn't realize that feature was actually happening. I thought it was a problem. Turns out it's not a problem. It looks like it was actually designed that way. So as far as admin deep cover goes, that's basically all that it does. There's not a whole lot more to learn about it. There's a little bit of customization that we can do to this plugin, but that's about it. So we're going to get into that right now. So this is what the default configuration file looks like for admin deep cover. But you remember me saying something at the very beginning that there's something cool that we can do with this information that's actually from the UMod website. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of this, which is Gary, Alistair and Helk. And like I said before, I don't know if these are their actual Steam IDs, but we can do something pretty cool with this. So if we take all that information that we copied from the UMod site and just paste it into our config file, and of course we need to save this. And of course we need to reload the plugin. 
Now let's go back in game and do the same thing again. Slash deep cover. Deep cover has been enabled. And now it's changed my name to Helk, which is super cool. So if we do a test in chat, as you can see, it says my name is Helk and it changes my Steam 64 icon to the broken face punch face, which is super cool. Now it looks like we've actually got Helk in our server. Like I said before, I don't know if that's their actual Steam IDs. I know that this is made to look like it's actually Helk, even though it's really not. So now I've just done the same thing again. And now I'm Alistair. And again, now I'm Gary. So as you can see, this is actually pretty cool. I'm super happy with how smooth this plugin actually works. It functions exactly the way that I would expect it to. And it provides us with an extra layer of protection as admins or moderators of our servers so that we can kind of hide in plain sight. We can still play the game. We can still be in the server, but people don't necessarily know that we're admins or moderators, which of course makes it so that they're not going to annoy you for various different things. As you guys all well know, as soon as somebody finds out that you're an admin, they ask you to spawn things in. They want you to destroy walls, blah, blah, blah. Lot. They want you to do all this other stuff that they can't do because they're just regular players. It's just easier to make it so that nobody can ask you those questions because they don't even know that you're an admin. Now, granted, if you go into the server and you're pretending like you're Helk or Alistair, chances are pretty good that you're going to get a little bit of heat. You might actually get a little bit of hate. And of course, you're probably going to get a lot of people asking you to do this to the game or do that to the game or make this better or whatever. The sky's the limit as far as the things that people are going to ask you for if they think you're somebody that you're not. So maybe it would be beneficial to leave the default config file for admin deep cover. It just looks like random names with random Steam 64 IDs. It'll allow you to hide in plain sight, same way as before. I just thought I would show you guys that you can actually do this because it's actually listed that way on the admin deep cover website on UMod. So that's everything that works really well with admin deep cover. The one thing that I do want to tell you about and hopefully bring the developers attention to, it seems like you can't actually use the better chat group function that appears to be built into the plugin. I'll show you what I mean. So if we go back to the admin deep cover config file, you can see that there's a better chat group right here and it's just set to default right there, which is why when we were in game, you could see next to my name, it just said player. So I found that a little bit strange and I tried to play around with that a little bit. So in my better chat config file, there is of course a group called default and it does of course say player next to the name of anybody that's in that group, which of course is anybody that joins the server. However, in my better chat data file, I have that set to hidden. So I don't know why it says player next to the name of whoever is using admin deep cover. I would expect that it would grab the configuration file from the better chat data file and it would do exactly what that data file is telling it to do, which means hide that title. So I thought I would play around with it a little bit. I actually created another better chat group that was just specifically called deep cover. So here we are, the group is called deep cover and I wanted to change the text so that it would say face punch dev, but I wasn't able to actually make that work. So essentially what you would need to do is take this deep cover group name that you have in your better chat file and take it over to your admin deep cover configuration file. And in theory, you should just be able to put it right there. Better chat group deep cover, and hopefully it would grab that information. However, it doesn't for some reason. So let's save this file. We'll reload our plugin admin deep cover and let's go back in game and try this again. Slash deep cover, deep cover has been enabled. And as you can see there, it says Gary. So now I'm Gary, which is fine. If I do a test, it now says that my group name is deep cover instead of player. However, that's not what we asked for. We asked admin deep cover to grab the information from the better chat group data file. The group name is deep cover but it should be showing the information that is down below that, which would then of course be face punch dev. So obviously you don't want to have this set up so that the tag next to the name says deep cover. So don't do that. That's definitely not what you want. If you want to talk about blowing your cover, that would be a great way to do that. So don't do it. If I had to have the choice, I would rather it said player there than deep cover. So if this is an oversight or something from the developer of this plugin, or maybe that functionality just isn't working the way that it was intended to, fine, that's okay. And Dana, if you're out there watching this, maybe you could reach out to me and let me know if this is an oversight or if it's just not functioning the way that you wanted it to. In either case though, this plugin is working and it is doing exactly what I would expect to do, which is fantastic. This is a great resource and I'm actually going to be implementing this onto my real live servers. So that's how good this is. I've been playing around with it for about an hour before I started recording it and I've already decided that this is a good tool that everyone should have. As far as the most recent update to this plugin, 1.8 thousand people have already downloaded it. So I know there's a lot of people out there that are using it, which is fantastic. I'm very happy to see that.
I'm now going to be one of them. All right, so let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys think this is a good plugin for your server. Essentially, just let me know what you guys think of the plugin. I think it's cool. I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to this type of stuff, so maybe I get a little bit more excited about it than I probably should, but whatever. I really like this stuff. If you recently joined my Patreon, make sure you check the list on the right-hand side of the screen right now and check for your name. This is me shouting you out, letting you know that I do appreciate that you've joined my Patreon, and I super appreciate the support that you're putting towards the channel. Of course, if you would like to join my Patreon, you can check me out at patreon.com slash srtbull. Address up there, address in the video description down below as well. All right, so that basically sums it up for admin deep cover. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. The only two things that I ever ask you guys to do is sub to the channel and like any of the videos that you like. If you didn't like the video, of course, you can always do a thumbs down. Just know that any kind of interaction that you perform with the video does help me out, and I appreciate every single bit of it. And just as a reminder, I do put out a video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. However, if you have your notifications turned on, you don't have to remember that you're going to get notified as soon as I upload a new video anyways. So until next Friday, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and taking care of each other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.